Last year, it was shredding season. But as you found out from the vlog, life is about so much more than just getting shredded. So this year, as of April 23rd, we are officially in season. Guys, 16 weeks to the best version of you. Does the best version of you come with increased performance? Are you looking to get shredded in the aesthetics route? Or are you simply looking to improve your life and find some balance? I don't care what the goal is, but what I need from you is to go all in. No matter what you're choosing, I need you to devise a plan. I need you to stick to it. I need you to be relentless. Let nothing get in the way and let's go. Let's do this together. Let's go all in and let's create a foundation that will serve us for the rest of our lives. Welcome to In Season. I decided to enter shredding season last year because I did want more accountability in my own life. Um, I had not gone all in on myself in that way um, for about 10 years. Uh, I lost about 80 pounds after I had my first daughter um, about 10 years ago, 12 years ago at this point, and wanted to to put forth that kind of an effort again in myself. Um, I wanted to become a better human, a better mother, and I wanted the accountability that shredding season was going to give me in order to be able to achieve all of those things. And I did, and it was absolutely fantastic. All right guys, what's going on? Welcome to In Season 2018. Guys, we're here, Ashburn, Virginia, in the car, where I feel like so much of last year's vlog took place, so what better place than to start it? <laughs> the last time you guys saw me driving, I was actually talking about the formation of IN3, explaining to you what IN3 is, what it stands for. Now, since then, IN3's exploded, guys. We're everywhere. We even have IN3 Brazil that just launched. Uh, we're getting ready to do IN3 Europe. We're actually looking at IN3 Australia. Uh, we have seminars booked in Dubai. Guys, we are a global company. So clearly from the last time I was here to today, a lot has happened. It has led us to the formation of what is now called in season, no longer shredding season. And I couldn't be more excited to share this process with you. Now, as you know, if you're following along, if you signed up and if you're doing this with us, you know that the whole premise is you have to choose a performance goal, an aesthetic goal, or a longevity goal. I'm super excited to share my goals with you that you're gonna see later on in this vlog. But here we are day one. Uh, earlier this morning, I tested two of my lifts. Uh, I spent the majority of the day working, and now Teddy and I are going to pick up dinner. Uh, yes, on day one I am already eating out, but you'll quickly learn and understand why that is. But, uh, you know, a couple different things for you guys to expect in the vlog this year. Uh, it's not just gonna be me, you're gonna get a female perspective. So here we are uh, locally, Coach Allison that works for IN3 and is a head coach at uh, Old Glory Gym. You guys met her last year in the vlog. Uh, she's gonna do in season and she has aesthetic goals and so once a week you guys will see an update on her journey what it's like from a female perspective uh, and just a different perspective of somebody that coaches during you know during the morning doesn't necessarily have all of the crazy commitments I have somebody that can maybe push a little bit harder in her journey uh, you know she doesn't have the CNS stress that I have so I thought it would be great for you guys to have two perspectives um, also you know we're gonna go with a little less frequency this year I think last year you know, again, we really went out and we wanted to show you guys everything, but the truth is everything is a lot of things. And obviously I need Teddy to be focused on more than just me, even though selfishly I'd love for you guys to see my whole life. It just, it is what it is. We're, we're gonna hire another media guy this year. Next year, maybe you guys will get the full life uh, of what goes on in, in my craziness. But for this year, guys, you're just gonna get uh, probably one to two episodes a week of me, one of Allison, and uh, you know, that's how we're gonna move forward. Guys, again, Welcome to In Season. I really hope you enjoy the content this year. I am gonna go out of my way to, to not only show you what really goes on in my life, but to be as transparent as possible. I'm going to get super vulnerable with you guys. I'm gonna talk about some of my fears, my insecurities, the things that I'm trying to overcome personally, as well as physically. Um, but more importantly, I'm also gonna educate you guys. I'm gonna help you guys understand why I do the things the way I do uh, from a personal perspective, from a business perspective, and of course, from a training and aesthetic perspective. So, uh, guys, here we are. It is time to go all in. Right now, I'm about to go all in on Chipotle. So, I'll see you guys back at the house. Hello. Ali. Hello. Hello, sir. Hi, Bo. Say hello to the in-season viewers. 
You're famous, dude. Ready? You're famous. Oh, don't show me up. <laughs> the Aussie. The real Aussie. The real Aussie. The English guy's behind the camera. The Aussie's here. Guys, what's going on? As you know, Teddy has moved into the house, and I am uh, holding his little friend here, his <laughs> Bowden. It's been a pleasure to have him in the house along with Sophie and Charlie. Uh, we've got a full house, guys. We've got four kids. We've got three dogs. Uh, we got a video guy. We, uh, we got me and Paige. So, you know, it's uh, it's been kind of crazy, and obviously that brings me really to what this year's about. Obviously, as we sat down and we started thinking about transformation contests and shredding season, and as you guys know already, shredding season no longer exists. And, and you know, probably you understand why if you followed me for any amount of time, and you know that. I'm not really a big fan of, of shredding competitions. I think that a lot of times it brings about just very low, low calorie protocols, excessive cardio. I think it, it sets a start date and an end date to a journey that should mean so much more. And I just watched so many people become damaged from competitions like this and we end up fixing them. And so this year it's really about going all in on yourself, building a foundation, building future success for something to come. And you know, uh, that's really what, what this whole competition is going to encompass. And so I, I've sat back hundreds of times and really tried to think about what my goals would be and how I could show you guys something unique. And you know, for me, it's, uh, I, I wanted to do something completely off the wall, something different than any of you guys were going to do. Uh, but something that was still attainable. I think last year we went really hard. It wasn't a good idea. Um, and to be super transparent guys, like last year, me wanting to get super shredded is just showing a lack of awareness within myself, something that I preach, something that I believe everybody needs. And so it was, it was really good for me to go through that because I, I think that over the last year I've been able to be a better coach, to empathize with you guys, to understand, you know, for me it was covering up maybe some insecurities, um, or, you know, some other things like that, but where those things fit in your life, I've, I've now been able to connect with several of you guys as to why you're choosing goals that maybe don't really suit how you want to live your life. So when I looked into this year's goals, I wanted to have some fun. I wanted to make sure it was doable and sustainable. Uh, and so that leads me to what we have. I am going to choose something in all three realms of in season. Uh, my performance goal is I am going to take the John Cena challenge. Now, John, if you're watching, I'd love to come to your gym and do it. Uh, I recognize you're probably not watching and it's probably not doable, but hey, if you know John Cena, pass this on to him. Let's get me into his gym, tag him in this, like let everyone know that I need to go do the challenge in his gym so I can get my name on the garage. For those of you guys that don't know, the challenge is six lifts in 48 hours, squat, bench, dead, snatch, clean, jerk. Not a clean and jerk, two different lifts. Um, and you have 48 hours to complete a one rep max or, or a heavy lift in all six, and you have to total 2,000 pounds. Um, so as you guys will see in this vlog, I believe, I've already, uh, it's, it's Monday afternoon here, like five o'clock. I've already done two of the lifts just to test where I'm at. So this morning, I built to a heavy single, not a one rep max, guys. So I was not looking to fail at all. I, I wanted to do a rep I knew I could get. I hit a 455 squat, which is 70 pounds less than my one rep max of all time. Um, and I hit a 565 deadlift, which is 40 pounds less than my all-time one rep. So clearly I'm nowhere near as strong or fit as I have been, but it's a good starting point. I think over the course of the next 16 weeks, I can get those numbers up. Uh, I believe I'm not gonna have an issue hitting 2,000 pounds, but again, like I said to Teddy this morning, I don't know what it's gonna be like to do all those lifts in a 48 hour span. I don't know how I'm gonna to feel tomorrow, uh, but as you guys might see on this blog, I am in a snatch tomorrow morning, so um, not sure if that'll be in here, but it'll be next week if I don't. This week I'm using to test out all my lifts, find out where I'm at. That's the performance side for me. Aesthetics, guys, I would love to sit here and tell you I wanna get super shredded, but the reality is it's not sustainable. Um, I've taken a step back. I understand that getting super shredded requires being at a calorie deficit, it's an excessive stressor. And as you guys know, I'm the CEO to two companies, uh, you know, we're growing all the time. And I recognize that if I'm not valuing myself, if I'm not maximizing myself, then I cannot in any way help the people that need my help. And so selfishly, 
uh, or it would be selfish of me to go about getting shredded. So instead, I am going to maximize my cosmetics. Now, over the last four or five months, as you guys know, I have a two month old baby. Um, you know, I just been so busy, guys. The company's been growing all the time. I have not maximized myself in any way. Full transparency, the last three days prior to in season, I had two meals a day. Um, just worked nonstop. And so guys, for me, I'm breaking this up into two phases. The first eight weeks is gonna be just getting calories up and getting calorie intake on a day-to-day -day basis, feeling good while keeping my aesthetics in check. Now, the final eight weeks, I will look to maximize body composition within a realistic and sustainable plan. So I will not be looking to get super shredded. I don't want veins in my abs or anything crazy like that. Would I love a visible six pack at all times? Of course I would. But I am going to maximize body composition within what is realistic for me to feel good, operate well, continue to add value, and, and just continue to give and function on a high level and be the leader I know I can be for my team. So it's really important, guys, when you're choosing your goals, is that something you're considering? And obviously that takes us to the longevity piece. Guys, for me, it's balance. Uh, Teddy's been living with us for like two months now. He'll tell you I have very little of it. It's work, 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 work. Don't eat a lot, skip training, don't sleep. Like that's my life, guys. I, I wanna give and I wanna give and I wanna add value and I wanna help, but for me, it's finding that balance. It's setting times when I'm going to start work and when I'm gonna end work. Uh, but more importantly, it's having a foundation of health longevity and feeling good while I pursue these performance and aesthetic goals. So in the performance side, a lot of you guys know I squat like virtually with my feet together. Yes, I can squat almost 500 pounds, but that's not very good for your hips. I wake up, my hips are super tight. I have low back pain, I have knee pain. My goal is I wanna hit a really good squat at the end of this with really good form, starting to get my feet wider. I wanna pull uh, a heavy deadlift with no back pain. I wanna actually snatch and not have it look like a fucking 12 year old that just picked up a barbell for the first time. Like. I want to move well, feel well, be well. Um, and then in the diet, yeah, I can hit my macros, but I wanna be hitting my micros too. I want to feel good. I want my gut health to feel good. I don't wanna feel foggy all the time. You know, I wanna feel like a high performer. And unfortunately, full transparency, guys, over the last four or five months, I've let myself slide a little bit. I've resorted to some convenience. You guys are probably in that journey with me. Um, but I'm in this to pull myself out of it with you guys. So. Uh, selfishly, I'm super excited about this season uh, and I can't wait to see what you guys produce. So there you have it guys, there's my goals. Next week I'm gonna break down to you how we're attacking that. I'll talk about my programming on the performance side, I'll give you my exact dietary setup on the aesthetic side, and I'll talk to you about some non-negotiables that I'm giving to you on the longevity slash life side, um, and hopefully they match up with what you're doing. Now Thursday. Did you macro that in, Jason? What, this? Yeah. Yep, I did. It's the first thing I macroed in because I decided I wanted Chipotle for dinner. So I macroed it in. It's the first time in, since shredding season last year that I've had the macro in Chipotle. <laughs> but I got the whole day macroed out. Macros for today came out to 210 protein, 340 carbs, 70 fats. So everyone wants to know, is that my starting macros? Truth is, truth is I don't really have starting macros. My goal this week is to just get back in the habit of tracking. Um, to build a foundation and kind of see where I feel comfortable. I'm gonna gauge some biofeedback markers, so some hunger, some sleep, some energy in the gym, some strength. Remember, the goal is primarily performance. The aesthetics is uh, as good as it can get while still optimizing life. So making sure that all biofeedback is in play is first priority, and then I'll maximize aesthetics as a second priority. So I think it's really, really important for people to understand that. Um, I think people have it backwards. They try to maximize aesthetics and say, oh, but I want to feel good or I want to sleep good or I want to perform well. Well, which is it? Um, clearly this year we've got the priorities laid out. Uh, so I'm super excited about that. The other thing I macroed in was two cookies. Everybody will remember from shredding season. Gotta have my chocolate chip cookies macroed in. It's an important part. It's something I enjoy. Really for me, it's it's kind of hard. Like I'm, I'm actually a little bit full heading into dinner because I'm not used to eating this much. So. Um, you know, like we mentioned earlier, I'm used to doing like two meals a day. Today I've got literally a full day, so it's kind of exciting to be back in that. I expect a pretty big hunger response tomorrow, to be fair. Same for you, Jackson. What are you what are your macros? What are your goals? What are your goals this season? To get fat. To get fat? Nice. What are your goals, Colin? To not get fat. To not get fat. We got one getting fat. We got one not getting fat. How are you gonna not get fat? Eat the same way I've been doing for years. 
Yeah. I'm not fat yet, all right? Mm -mm. To lie or to, um, what was it? Something else. Stop it. Stop it. Stop. Oh. Are you really recording this? No. Yeah. Well, good. Well, well, good. Well, maybe I am. Maybe I lied. But who would lie? Not a Wait, good who's a liar in this house? <laughs> Ella? I know. <laughs> You lied to Teddy. No, I didn't. Yeah, you no, did. Didn't. You're lying to the vlog. <laughs> now no one's gonna like you. They loved you last year. I thought, I thought the people were nice. <laughs> <laughs> Are they not nice? <laughs> My God, I think as with all things coaching, when you get a client in, the very first thing you need to do is sit down with them, have the conversation, talk to them um, you know, about things, make sure they understand the process that they're getting into. I think all of the clients I work with really know what the goals are, um, how we're going about it, what the process should be looking like, I try to paint the picture a little bit for them. So that I think is, is how you overcome it. And hi Ron, how are you? It was good to talk to you today, hope all is well. And number one, I'm not a medical practitioner. So if I suspect that there's a hormonal imbalance, the first thing I'm going to do is ask for blood work to confirm that. If it's really outside, like if we're talking it's clinically outside the range, the reality is I'm probably going to try to have them work with a physician um, and get those hormones fixed. Now, if I think that it's things like overtraining, over dieting, things like that, I will highly encourage them to give me 90 days, an aesthetic and a longevity goal. So I would be a hypocrite if I said it wasn't possible. That being said, I do not believe you can maximize each one. So I think that for you, what was his name, Chris? Chris Baum. For your name, Chris, uh, or for you, Chris, I think that you should um, definitely understand like what you're willing to deal with or what you're kind of willing to compromise with in each one, right? So for me, I know that the one thing I have to find the most compromise in is performance um, because I can't push really hard on performance anymore if I want any amount of longevity.